All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry for that. I am back now here. We got things started up in the first inning. Sorry for the delay. We had some technical issue in the beginning. And we it was just only two of us at the moment, so I appreciate your patience. And here's a grounder to a shortstop. Picks it up. Now going for the double play. And managed to get the save on first base, unfortunately. Uh, Lippon is starting out on a hot streak right now. You know, first inning in, two, bait, two runners on with no outs for the number 13 hitter coming up to the plate. Uh, so everybody else who's waiting for the stream, I apologize once again. But we are now ready to rock as we are about to get things start started. Strike one. Down the pop line. <coughs> so for those who are just tuning in, the Pavone has two men on base, first and second, with no outs for the number 13 hitter. Oh, hit by a pitch. That is not what GW wants to do, you know. They got bases are loaded, no outs. They got the cleanup hitter coming out to the bat. So that's a uh, pretty unfortunate. But let's see what GW can do. So far, this is looking like Lopemon, as everybody from Lopemon is coming into the fan. So shout out to Lopemon fans out here making a statement and also on YouTube. Swing foul. Does it hit a card? No, it doesn't. I don't know how many cars got, got damage right there. Kosho Sneaker, what's up, Stalin? Welcome to the live. We already starting these things out with a double, with the field, with the bases are loaded and no outs. This is going to be a fun one. Don't forget the camera, buddy. Swing and a miss for strike two. Yeah, Flash, let me know, to oh, Troy, let me know that you guys can watch the live stream. Like, here's a pop-up. That's looking to be a foul ball, but it's still in play for the first out. So GW can definitely put out a double play to avoid uh, damage here on the top of the first inning. As uh, I have no idea who I don't have any lineups unfortunately, so I can't really tell you the names at the moment. But the twenty hitter, the twenty the number twenty hitter is on the plate. As he takes a pitch swing and a miss for strike one. Right down the pop nine. Who was aiming to look to hit a whole one on that pitch for some reason. So if we add it again. Right down the plate, a little low for strike two. So far, Lupa One fans is turning up in this crowd. What happened to the GW fans out here? I don't see them. Here's a pop up towards left, makes the catch, hits the throw. Can he make it? Yes, he got the tag. For the third out, ladies and gentlemen. What a quick hand from the left fielder. You know, got caught off to the third baseman. Managed to take the take the one out at home. What a play, ladies and gentlemen. GW managed to avoid being being sh um, shot down by LeBaron. So, a super fast play indeed. Hold on, I got to fix my mic a little bit. Because it is choppy ass. All right, guys. So here at the bottom of the first, GW is up, tied. The score is now 0-0. Zero, zero. We'll be right back after the short break, so stay tuned.
All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Lopez is on his way here to take over the commentary team. As GW is getting ready to lead off the, you know, the bottom of the first, while after a crazy top of the first inning with the bases are loaded with no outs, GW managed to find a way to pull out three while giving giving up any one. So really impressive hit right there. So. Gonna need your camera, buddy. All right, so let's see what GW can do here as he takes a pitch right down the pipeline for strike number one. So, you know, we got a game here with two dominant teams. Very dominant. The one is was undefeated until the Friday game. A little high. Football one. It was a little close. It was a little high. Type almost in the um almost there. Not quite yet. I I apologize for the bad commentary, ladies and gentlemen uh, and gentlemen. But I will do my best for the time being to give you guys some live feeds. Uh, see the pitch. Is a clip, hop up, and land a foul for strike number two. Well, now the count is one ball, two strike. <laughs> very, very much anticipated game right here. I'm excited for it. What about you guys in the chat? Let me hear it. And he takes a swing and a miss. Can he make the draw to first? Yes, he can. For the first hour of the inning. That was a good hustle. But fortunately, nothing doing. As GW takes the first out here. As the number 13 hitter is coming up to the plate. Oh, my bad. Should take this out. He's a chopper to a second, throw to first, and he's safe. I didn't have to move the camera there. You could have saw the play there. I think there was some kind of hesitation between the first, uh, the first baseman and the second baseman right there. The pitcher should have covered the first baseman as he went for the ball. So that little slight hesitation right there you know, managed to secure a man on first for GW as the number four hitter, Big Poppy. Uh, Ramon Jimenez, Big Poppy is on the plate. You know. Let's see what he can do here to bring this home. As he takes the pitch wide for ball number one. So GW fans, Lopez Ramones fans, let me hear you make some noise on the chat. Let me hear you make some noise on the stand. Hello. Football two. Find it, find it in the middle for strike number one. The count now is two balls, one strike. This can go either both ways, ladies and gentlemen. The chopper foul for strike number two. So now Big Baby really got to be careful here. You know, as deadly as Big Baby is, I think this pitcher is not afraid of him. Hey, Raymond, what's up? How you doing, Charlie? Welcome to the live. <laughs> I'm doing my best to fill in as uh, Lopez is making his way here. But let's see what I can do to provide you the best. Here's the one on second. Here's the throw. No throw, actually. And the count is now full. So 
So now we got a man on second base. We one now, full count for Big Baby. Ooh, did he check swing? Yes, he did. Struck him out. Out number two for GW. For the fifth battle up, the number 28 is gonna about to take his mount. <sighs> so, uh, let me reset the count. And here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the low pitch for strike number one. Here's a chopper toss, shortstop, right past him for a base hit. Here's the draw to home, but I'm not going to make it in time. As GTW managed to find the league in a RB, RBI double, putting them up uh, by one. And now GW found a one. Wow, a bit of wow for that assignment. <laughs> so now the number 21 hitter is on the plate. You got to try to zoom out a little bit so that you be, you know, struggle a little bit. So I'm trying to, you know, direct the cameraman what to do a little bit better. Mind you, there's only two of us here as he takes a pitch on a dirt for ball one. So it was only me and drivers at the time being. So it's going to be a little bit tricky for both of us to, uh, you know, to go back and forth between the scorekeeper, the switching, the commentary, <laughs> even, the, even the leadership here. As he takes a pitch in the middle, looks to be in the middle, but it's a ball, it's a ball count. So now the count is now two balls, no strike. Still got a man on second base. Oh, fast pitch, low on the dirt. As he managed to take a steal to third base. So now we got a one and 90 feet away from home on a 3 to no count. For the number 21 hitter to see if he can find himself another RBI here. Oh. And there's a ball four walk. Gundam style. And he managed to find a. Wait a minute. So. I think the, the reason why he walks home is because the ball, it was a wild pitch. So they gave him the run. However, they look like they're still discussing about that. So we're not too sure what's going to happen at this point. I mean, it's very difficult to tell. Like, we don't have a camera down on base to really see what's going on. But it looked like they actually setting him back on to third base. So they're not going to reward him with the one instead. So now the count is still remains the same. Oh, I made a mistake on the scoreboard. My apologies. It's actually GW. One. My apologies there, ladies and gentlemen. And they gave him the one. I have no idea what is going on between back and forth. But they rewarded him with the one. And now it's 2 nothing. GW. It's just a little bit. Um, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. I say one thing and I see the next thing, and now I'm seeing the same thing over again. But either way, it works out for us. GW managed to get one on on the plate, and I think that's the fine. Uh, the count is standing. 
at the number 18 hitters on the plate right now. Again, I apologize. I don't have any uh, lineups for me to get the the player's name. There was the last second setup as we were in a meeting, and it was only two of us at the time. And it's still two of us right now. So if you guys want to help us out, definitely feel free to stop by and support us, you know, as we get things settled for the remaining week of the game. And here's the pitch. Appears to be a ball one. Now. Now that is definitely a straight call pitch. You know, I may not know pitches very well, but at least I know that it's a strike. And Lopez here is making his way up here. Now we have a better commentary personnel. I may do a convers I may do a conversation one, but here we go. Oh, right towards the pitcher, and he makes the out to retire the side after giving two runs. We are transitioning now to the second inning of the game where the score is remain is GW2, Loperone 0. As we are transitioning to a second inning and we transitioning to a better commentator, we'll be right back after this message. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while first inning. Here we back, ladies and gentlemen, to start things up on the top of the second inning. So, here's a number 23 hitter on the mound. As he's going to start all, he's going to start out the second inning. Uh, Lopez is still getting settled down, so. Here we go. Here's a pitch. Strike one call down the pipeline. Shout out to the 19 viewers watching this live. As he's a swing and a miss, pop up foul out of play for strike number two. So now this is a pitcher count right here. Let's see what the 23 can do. Oh, did it hit him? Yes, it did. 
And now he got, he, the 23 is on base. Hit by a pitch after an 0 2 count. And now the number 24 hitter to be on the play. Huh? All right. So finally, we got another help here. You know. Hey, what's up? So now we have now Lopemon has a man on first with one with no outs for the number 24 hitter to be on the plate. We'll switch between one and two. Anytime there's a play. Hold on, let me mute my mic a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. Pitch foul. That was a fast pitch. Does anyone know has a radar or radar gun that can actually determine that pitch? But either way, strike number one. It's two zero. It's two zero. Yeah. All right. So, so the second one having to do with the ball being out of play. And here's a swing and a miss. Here's a, here's a steal to second. Oh, managed to drop the ball. That was a close, that was a close counter right there. But now the count is two, uh, no ball, two strike. As I'm trying to make way here. Now nah, you're gonna worry. I got you. Here's a pop up fly, uh, fly to third. Easy routine out. Oh, he nearly busts his behind for that out. So now we got one out. As the number 12 hitter is coming to the plate with a man on second base with one out. To start things off here, see what he can do to bring Lopez one home. <laughs> and there was a ball called on a pitcher, which advancing the runner to third base. Unexpected, but. It is what it is. So now we have a sec a man on third. Trying to bump, but fouled it off. For strike number one. All right. Hit it. Lip of one. He was trying to get a bunt, but unfortunately, you know, the pitch was too low right there. You know. So now the count is now one ball, one strike for the number 12 hitter. As he's trying to see if he can make a sacrifice bunt once. He does have a chance. Here we go. Here was a bump. He draws for first. Got the out on second, but Lipavone managed to find home. And now the league is cut by half. Lipavone got one on, got one on the board with a sacrifice out. And now there's two outs. For the number one hitter to start things off here. It was also looking to bump, but fouled that off.
Yeah, stop it a second now. I do not know. That's two, yes. Alright. Pop up foul. Flow pitch. Struck him out for the third out. The number one just stood there looking at that pitch going down the middle. But fortunately, he was not able to make contact. As now we are transitioning to the bottom of the second inning. Lupin won't manage to cut the league by half by a sacrifice bunt for the number one hitter. And now we are transitioning to the bottom of the sec uh, bottom of the second inning. We'll be right back after this message. We will transition to Mr. Lopez who will take over for me. Now up the designated batter, Luis Torres hits a towering fly ball, but caught in the warning tracks by the right fielder. Excellent play Who is that? Luis for F9, first out. That ball was deep, just a few feet, hey, five feet from, from leaving the ballpark. Now up Alan Ferreira as the number 15 right fielder for the Trojans. Pulled hot towards third base, but recovered by the third baseman. And an excellent throw across the diamond. 5-3 for the second out. Wow. Huh. Number 13 from Luperon has really been showing off his defense in the past two games. He made two amazing diving catches last game. One against a hot shot. Must have came out of the the bat like at 100 miles an hour from Big Baby. He came, diving catch, and then gets up and throws it across the diamond. Now we see another weapon. Da -na -na. Today, strike down the pipe for Yendri Peralta, the left fielder. But yeah, the third baseman from Luperon, he's got to have several offers at, at this point because his defense is spectacular. Fouled into the glove of the catcher. Yendri is behind in the count. 0-2. Oh now he has to defend the plate. 
Ooh, again that he holds off on the on that change up. Yeah, like uh, I'm we, now I'm back here with commentary along with Lopez. Um, I got scolded for being a bad commentator and a bad nose taker. <laughs> Ooh, way ahead in that pitch for strike wow. three, and the Luperon pitcher strikes out the side. That'll end this inning. Talk about very fast inning. I think this is one of the fastest innings that happened here. Yeah, this this was this was one, two, three, three up, three down, no errors, very economical at bat. We got maybe three, four, five, six pitches this inning from the Luperon pitcher. If he think if he's thinking about finishing the game, it is totally possible if he keeps oh, this up. Top of the third, Afri Alcantara back on the bump. Let's see what he can do, man. Let's keep that momentum. Well, Afri has been dominant at home, so uh, this is going to be a, a good game for Afri to test off his stuff against the, the, still the number one team in the division. Even though we beat them on Friday, ranking-wise and, and uh, win-loss-wise, they're still the number one in the division. Well, let's see. Maybe they may lose the next game. And it will probably be a tie. We'll see what happens. So let's see, yeah. If, if, if the Trojans can take this one, that'll give Luperon and G Dubs the same amount of losses, I believe. Actually, no. Because remember, G Dubs has three losses coming uh, in. Alright, so we'll be one loss more than Luperon. But what it will do, it will bump us up in the playoff standings and pretty much guarantee home field advantage for almost the entire series. But let's see what happens. I don't know if there's any more games after this for the Velocity Baseball team, but we have to find out for sure. Now up to bat number two for Luperon. Pitch is high, ball one. Fielders here at GW play a little further back than normal. That's because if any ball gets passed, uh, it would almost be like a guaranteed triple. So they rather play back and, and charge a ball than have to run back for a ball. Especially when you got a high anticipated game with two of one of the two best teams in Manhattan. Pitch on the dirt, bouncing off the catcher's gear. Oh. They, they did, did the homework. Right. You know, they did the homework, so they know who the head, who the big hitter in the team and whatnot. Well, here's, here's the plus minus of having these live stream games, right? The opposing teams can look at our videos and see where people have been hitting all season. Unless, you know, depending, depending on the, the camera work, work from our uh, cameraman, we don't know. <laughs> Pitch is high, count is three and one. Number two from Luperon now gets to choose if he wants to swing. Batter is count. He can sacrifice his strike. Yes, he can. And here's a ooh, right. nine drive over the shortstop to the center fielder. Released quick by Angel Gomez and recovered by Raul Mella. And that will bring over a base runner for Luperon, who is just down by one run. Yeah. Luperon will try to optimize, and we saw that they already presented bunt several times last inning. Uh, they're thinking playing small. They saw that last game, it was a 2-1 game. It was a, it, was a, it was a game won by one run, and it seems to be the same case here. So that one run could be a difference between a win and a loss right now. For you right, so you right about see that. the run on first second, nice aggressive lead, nice secondary out of the third already. For ball one, number five. The Bruno will try their best to get this runner in. I got a feeling he's going to go. Ah. Ball two. Ball two. That that one was uh, borderline, but. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Isn't this lady out of the strike zone? I mean, I mean, we don't got the best angles, so we don't know, <laughs> but. We got to get a camera down there for sure. We, that's the next upgrade, and Afri throws back to first, keeping the runner on 
on the bag. But I'd like to know if, it, if PSL is going to start adapting some of these MLB rules. Towering fly ball down to right center. Oh. And it goes over the right fielder's head. And that will be a ground rule double. Ball bounced right on the track. Ground rule double. Bounces over the fence. And here at George Washington Heights, so that is called a ground rule double. Afli finds himself in a jam to start this inning. No outs. And runners in scoring position. Huge opportunity for Luperol to cause some serious damage. No outs. Anything in the outfield will score a run. And a single can bring in potentially two. Hot shot towards the shortstop. Holds the runner. Oh, yeah. missed throw by Brian out of the field. It is a bad ball. The runner will score on the throwing error. And they're going to reward him another one? Another? And you see the Luperon coach saying, go ahead and hit first. The ball is out of play, so it rewards two bases. The umpires are talking it over just to make sure that they're on the same page with the ground rules. It seems like the home plate umpire uh, is in disagreement with, with the field on. Trying to clarify if it's going to be one run or two. <laughs> he pushed back the little Peronco. You saw him get animated in the last game. Yeah, this yeah, guy right. was like furious and stopping the game. There he goes with his antics again. I mean, this is a very anticipated game, so both coaches on both teams are going to have a lot to say if, you know, if the, call doesn't, the call doesn't go in their favor, for sure. So far, if the play holds, it is Luperon 3 and George Washington 2. So this is why we're ready right now. They're discussing, they're discussing, you know. They're just like Internet Explorer, ladies and gentlemen. They're still loading and processing until it's complete. And they're going to reward him. Come on. It will be called a double, a single, but the runners were awarded second base because the ball was thrown out of play. Costly error. The idea was right. The runner on third took a huge leap. was in between. Uh, was in between third and home. What Brian was thinking was, let me look at the runner on third, sacrifice the runner on first, and get out on a, on a pick one, a tag on a, on a rundown. It was the right idea, but right idea. Sometimes, sometimes what happens is that when you're used to playing third or, or short, you're used to the longer throw across the diamond, and sometimes the shorter throws become more difficult, and that's what happened. Right, short throw that should have been one, two, three, straight into the catcher's glove was way low. Over through that ball. That ball was always going to beat the runner 100 out of 100 times. But unfortunately, Brian overthrew the ball to Marcus. And, and uh, Marcus made a hell of an effort to, to try to hold on to it, diving to, to hold on to that ball. But unfortunately, it got passed off of a bad throw and two runs score off of a big error. Luperon now up 3 2. You know, as, uh, no outs. Runner on second. This is his camera. So, let's stay there for a minute. You don't have to switch back fast. Anyways, as the stand, uh, Luper Wong got rewarded with two runs after that drawing ever from Brian. Definitely hurt GW there. Um, got the right idea, but fortunately, poor uh, execution, as I say. That is correct, and the rule of baseball after the error comes the run, the Pedro de Jero viene la carrera. 
and it's always proven to be true. I've never seen that where it's not where it doesn't happen. Pitch is high for ball one. And I'm not mistaken, it's still no outs, right? No outs. No outs. So no outs. Two runs so far in this inning. Run on second. Count is even, one and one. Fastball down the pipe. After he returns that ball, says, I don't like it. Give me a new one. I don't blame him. Uh, and when you get to the upper levels, so MLB, they have these funky rules when it comes to baseballs, right? <laughs> these very specific rules. They got to keep them at a certain temperature. They wet the balls, right? They, they, they mush them up. They mud them up. That's what they call it. They muddy them. Ooh, and he goes, offers, <laughs> and takes the bait. Count is one and two, so they muddy the ball, meaning they, they wet the ball and they keep it at a certain temperature. They literally rub it before the game. Now you can't <laughs> you can't muddy the ball past more than three hours before because it changes how the ball reacts in the elements. That's so interesting. In the, yeah, in the, in the MLB they got all these funky rules, right? Uh, so they they call it muddying the ball. You only get up to three hours before you can muddy it. They got to be at a certain temperature in the room where you where you store them. Good block by Corbin. But the count is now full three and two for number three of Luperon. Fourth batter of the inning. So this is definitely a Luperon game right now. No, he's going to probably go for it. And he does. Big line drive to left field. Runner is going to hold that third. Now we got runners on the corners with no outs. Luperon is, uh, they woke up their bats today. Uh, well, they never went to sleep but <laughs> in the beginning. It's more like, um, you know, the defense. Could use a little coffee break here and there. I don't know. Those are clean hits. Oh no, they were clean hits. Those are clean hits. I mean, you wasn't here for any, but it was like that as well. But compared to last game, that's a uh, uh, wide awake. <laughs> I missed the last game, unfortunately. But I'm excited to be here for this one. Who's this? Number twenty. Oh yeah, I didn't clear the strike, man. Five feet right there. We're running on the corner in less than two outs. The run is going to go anytime now. Two direct ball pitches so far. For the number 20 hitter. Foul right three. back at me. And. Just misses me for strike one. <laughs> <laughs> Just misses the uh, the streaming team here. Just missed retirement. <laughs> retirement? You mean disability? <laughs> 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 I don't know about retirement. The runner goes. No throw. Corbin fakes the throw down, but throws it to the pitcher, so the guaranteed stolen base. Goes now. Luperon has runners in scoring position. Second and third with no outs. First base is open. And count is two and one for the big Luperon lefty. I'll tell you what, in this ball field, it is a lefty's ball field. If he pulls that ball, it's a very short route out of the park. And he takes a strike for first and, time. Uh, that's the first strikeout of the inning. I was wrong, count. Number 23 is now up. With one out runners on second and third. Right-handed batter. The runners will hold if it's hit towards the left side of the field. Ground ball towards the left side. Runners will take a lead. But any of the infusers will look at the runner on third. And if he moves, would attempt to get him on a rundown. If not, 
They'll get the guaranteed out at first. The count is one and one. I wonder, I wonder what the, the conversation, conversation that the kitchen and cat was having for a moment there. Maybe he try to walk in and uh, try to get the double out. To the end of the damage, what you think? No, no. What he's trying to say right now is, is put the put the ball on the ground. But well, it seems like the 23 here likes the ball higher than the ground, so. That's that's the job of uh, the catcher, Corbin, right? He has, to, he has to pay attention to what every batter has done. Try to remember if there was a strikeout, how did he get struck out? What balls did he swing and miss on? And, and try to repeat the areas where that batter is weakest in. And we see exactly that. Another strikeout for Afri Cantara. Now coming up number 24. So the catcher is to be is his job is essentially to be a a human so textbook. Be right back. He's gotta be a stat sheet. Oh, oh, yeah. He has to try to remember as much as possible. Big timing fly ball to right field. But as they would say in my country, se sienta, se toma el café, y es out. <laughs> hey, after the first uh, big inning here. For the little long, managed to find all strand two with no outs, and now here we are transitioning to the bottom of the turn. As this is turning out to be one great ball game in general for both teams. Gregorio Luperon three, George Washington two, with plenty of ball game left. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here for the bottom of the third with Brian Meadow on, on the bat. Looking to get things ready here as Lopez is making his way back with a drink. I wish he could have asked if I wanted some, but this guy says, nah, man. Look at teamwork, dear. <laughs> Your boy, James E.A. Yo, James Callen. Your peasant <laughs> is missed, my guy. Llegó Brian Melo. Yesterday, Brian Melo hit. Uh, I'm sorry, not yesterday. Friday, Brian hit a massive home run down center field. Center field fence. That one won the ball game, man. Uh, the f that one. Uh, you guys got to fill me in. Well, at that moment, the game was 0 0. 
And Brian hits a home run to take the lead. And then Gallo, Raul Meja, hits a double. And that, that gave us a second run. I didn't catch that. I think that was uh, one ball, two strikes. Count is one and two on Brian. He's trying to repeat what he did on Friday. Hits a chopper back to the to the pitcher. Catching Jeter play, but pushes the <laughs> <laughs> pushes the first baseman out the way. And wow. Brian will have ran to third. Easily to third. Yo, yo, and yo, be man. held up by Coach Carbone. And wow. what do I always say? What is the rule of baseball, Raymond? Tell me. <laughs> what is the rule of baseball? Don't, don't, go, don't, don't make, make complicated, complicated plays. plays. No, that's not the rule. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay attention. After the error comes the run. Exactly. So you saw, try to be a little too fancy there. Throw the Jeter, the that's Jeter what I'm player. saying. That's what I'm saying. It should have been just a runner on first. That throw did not have to happen. should have been a runner on first. <laughs> No outs. Now you have a runner on third with no outs. And Brian has speed. Anything in the outfield will, will, will bring in the run. So that is a very uh, E1. Massive ever from the Pumon. Doing the Jeter style, I think you should just leave that to the professionals, man. Uh, they, not everybody's Jeter. People, people think that play is easy. That play is not easy. It's not easy. Going the opposite way. You gotta shift your momentum in the air and make it. You gotta have a strong arm to do that. There's a ground to third. Hard hit to the third baseman. But he drops oh, the he ball. Drops the ball. He drops the ball, and Brian will be called safe. <laughs> <laughs> Brian had the green light to go. Brian, Brian is a risk taker because seeing that the ball was into third base. And knowing the third baseman that's playing for Lupe Rong, I would have held up. Ah. But this time it paid off it because definitely. the catcher dropped the ball. And I'm, I'm shot. There go, I knew it. I knew it. There goes Lupe Rong. He's going to argue that it was dropped on the transfer. He's going to say he already had position of the ball. He applied the tag and the ball fell off the glove after the tag. That's going to be the argument right now. The ball fell after the tie. He's I mean, gonna. Uh, uh, this is this tell is. Tell me about it. Tell me about no matter. <laughs> He's arguing <laughs> now. Yo, James, you always welcome to come down and commentate, man. We would love to have you back. You know, you and Lopez will make a tremendous duel. That's a kid. That's man, a kid. Man, you are more, get over here, my, my guy. <laughs> get over here, cause we could have some conversation. Yo, we could have three mics too. Get, get your get your <laughs> notepad ready, cause we're gonna talk. They're going to talk. They're going to talk. You guys going to have a good time, bro. That'll be, hey, promise me at least this. If, if we make it to the championship, you got to be there. Oh, you gotta, better be gotta, there. We got we to gotta have yeah, the full stat sheets, the stat lines. I'll hopefully be playing Yankee Stadium because, you know, make Saturday it night it was a Make it official tissue. I think I think the championship game is played in the Staten Island Yankees. I mean, I like the food there. No doubt about that. <laughs> but living in New Jersey, coming from Saturday night, and that's a trip and a half. <laughs> Last year, I took, I got home at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Because we took the bus right back to the school, and it was like 11. And traffic going back to the bridge was so delayed because construction. Yeah, oh, man. No, that, that traffic is, is a nightmare. <laughs> that G-Dubs? Yeah. Oh. J. Callen bet. You know the vibe, your cause, man. I, we talked about you, man. We show you, you know, you were your legend here, and Good we need stuff. that legend here. You better be pursuing a career in broadcasting. That's what I'm saying. I didn't tell him. He already knows that you had that potential. And now we got number four, the big bat, big unit, big baby. I'm only and guy leaves, and. Caught him out. Oh, caught out. Great throw by the Luperon catcher. Wow. Unfortunately, we were not able to show that on camera because our cameraman is sleeping in the job up here. So if anyone got like, something to throw at him? Wow. <laughs> excellent throw by the Luperon catcher and excellent tag by the second baseman. Just, uh, that, that, that was just beautifully executed. And Honestly, it's hard to throw somebody out. So whenever it happens, you got to give it to the captain. As much 
sometimes, you know, they're the opposing team. You got to give it to them when something's done beautiful like that. Oh, of course, yeah. definitely. We, like, like we, we try, try to be, be as mm, less biased, biased as possible. As, uh, Pitches in the dirt. Now three Count balls, one strike. Three and one. They announced today that the playoff game is supposed to be in a Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. This is coming to our insider on June 12th. That was the championship will take place. And Big Baby earns a base. Base off balls. And what a shame. Bases could have been first and second. Now, tell me this. Maybe it's not an intentional walk. But four straight pitches out of the zone. Might as well know. call it an intentional walk. I think so because you know they don't want to. They don't want to risk a tie game if Big Baby hits it out of the park. Pitches high and out for Marcus Pedro, third baseman for the Trojans, number twenty-eight. Trojans rocking the <laughs> the retro the retrospective shirt, uh, I guess. I call it the Astros <laughs> retro jersey. <laughs> you seen the Astros with the with the horizontal pipes? I don't know. We got we got the rights for this because. Uh, <laughs> I mean, listen, they're gonna wear the best uniform for the best games. That's what I gotta I say. I, 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 like, I like this uniform. This is one of my my favorite Trojan uniforms. Oh really? This one? Yeah. Ah, oh, gotcha. I like the, the old seventies looking. Ooh. In the ground, Big Baby's going to advance. No throw. So Ramon Jimenez is now on second base with just one out. And Marcus Pigado is still at bat. Not the playoffs. It was it was last day in 2019. Yeah, the last time um, it was there, 2019, for the championship. Um... Oof. Big swing and a miss from Marcus. Count. count two and two or is it two and one? Okay, so it seemed like the uh, playoff, it was supposed to be in Yankee Stadium, but since 2019, the playoff championship game have out uh, the championship game have been moved to Staten Island and Yankees. And that ball is out of play. Big baby will advance. He's gonna just walk there. Literally. Literally, like now, yeah. question, now the question is, baby was on the move once it got past the pitcher and then it went out of play. So shouldn't baby advance home? But there is no argument by Carbone, so he's gonna he's he's gonna settle with a runner 90 feet from tying the the game. Oh yeah, and the count is full. Marcus, with a yeah. full count. Is it a full count yet? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh and Marcus earns his walk. Excellent at bat by Marcus. We were both staring at that pitch for a moment there for sure. Get ready, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it like that. Corbin Mendez, the catcher for the Trojans, number 21. Corbin's going to try to tie up this game with one swing of the bat. Oh, let me reset this. Marcus, up. let's see if Carbone calls a hit and run. Pitch is high, and Corbin takes it for ball one. Uh, shout out to Gabriel for providing the uh, the music and the Yankee Stadium vibe that That's we right. will love. Yeah. Wish you could hey, do that hey, every man. game. Big game coming, coming clutch and strike down the pipe for Corbin. Looks at that one. So yeah, is Carbone gonna play small? Is he gonna play big? How is Carbone calling this? Runner goes, ball on the dirt, no throw. Even if, it, but excellent block by the catcher still. Keeping the ball in front of him. Corbin has two balls in the strike. Runners in scoring position, second and third, one out for Corbin Mendez. So now, this is a crucial moment for the children to get back on the league. They won out. 
Man on second and third. He swung oh, in. Oh, chopped it off his foot. And I got to hurt. Fouled on third base side. Count is even at twos. I think I saw Ms. Brock. There's Ms. Brock. Shout out to Ms. Brock, AP from media supporting the boys' children. Yo, I like how people go in to get stuff and not provide the team. Big hit oh, towards big right hit. field. He's going to go past the right field off the fence. That will bring him too easily. And Corbin is going to get a standing double. Two RBIs. Perrea Corbin. Que le metió gasolina a ese palo. Súbele más para que ella aprenda los motores. Now batting, number 18, Perre Ángel Gómez. Ángel La Maravilla Gómez, who we've seen earlier this season make amazing plays at left and center. Diving catches to save games. Andrew is another one that has a big bat. He's been uh, quiet. Fat past two games, but when that bat wakes up, it's gonna make noise. <laughs> Man, what an exciting game right here so far, ladies and gentlemen. These, these are my, my, my favorite types of games. Close oh, games, yeah. a lot of back and forth. Definitely. Pitchers do ground it down that. the third base line, but rolls foul. Angel now evens out the count one and one. Okay, I typed that wrong. If we go to the championship, it will be held at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx on June 12th, according to Charlie Gonzalez. So, if this is correct, we will be in Yankee Stadium. I wonder if we could, the, if we could use the broadcasting booth. That would be nice. I want to use their broadcasting booth. Exactly. Let we could, let's see if we can make that happen. Oh, ball on the ground. Ah, but what's, what's going on? Nobody, uh, okay, uh, so we have uh, <laughs> Carbones was shaking his head. He's like, what's going on? <laughs> You're literally the pinch runner and you don't run. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was a little lost myself. I saw a Carbone waving at. <laughs> That's Adonis. That's Adonis. Adonis <laughs> is a pinch runner for the catcher. He comes in at any time Corbin gets on base. Corbin, as the catcher, gets a courtesy runner. Strike two on Angel. I think he thought that there was a one on third base. He saw Carbone with the uniform. Like, There's a, I already got somebody there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really, really old-looking senior. Uh, I it's mean, in the Avenger Warmers, I am 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's the one to third. Excellent, excellent base running. Excellent base running. Oh, and that man. will bring Angel over to first. That is, that's exactly... That's exactly what you have to do when you're on the bases. On a play like that, that the ball is on the floor and first base is unoccupied, you're going to steal or take a huge lead, tempting the runner, tempting the catcher to throw down to the base. So by him trying to advance, and in this case advancing successfully, no. it gave Angel some time. Oh yeah, for sure. To make it a first. Remember, on a pass third strike, and un an unoccupied first base, you're allowed to run down to first. So Angel makes it to first. That is not considered a hit. That is still considered a strikeout, but he is now, you're, you're still. Uh, I think mean, he decided to uh, first. go to third, yeah. It is crazy, but wow. Oh, we got Ms. Brock here. <laughs> Do you want to join the boys? I used to call games Oh, no. oh, not it doesn't go away, Ms. Brown. <laughs> it's going to come with you. So for the score right now, it's GW5, Liverpool on three, bottom of the third, one out. Yes, yes, ma'am. Liverpool scored one on the, in the first inning? They scored twice. Then we came back. I, so I got two runs on the third. Yeah, no. They scored they score one. No. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to Either remember. On the second inning or first inning, they must have scored. Okay. Because on the third inning, they only scored twice. Gotcha, so gotcha. They must have scored either on the first or second. Yeah. 
for sure they scored on the second. It was actually the second. My okay. apologies. Anyway, so Travelies on YouTube said that the news that we'll be playing a Yankee Stadium in the Bronx came from Coach Capone today. I mean, let's see what PSL really says because. You know, PSAL decided hey, you to know change what? things around. Gonna, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Exactly. <laughs> let's worry about Luperon right now. Oh, yeah, let's take one day at a time, right? One game at a time. Focus on the, on the guys that we're facing currently. Let's try, to, let's try to secure home field advantage for playoffs. How about that? So, looking like this switch to pitcher. So, th this is the guy that, that we've all been anticipating. Uh, a big lefty. From Luperon, this kid supposedly is throwing lower 90s. Oh, really? Not. So you're gonna see th the change in speed of the two pitchers is gonna affect the Trojan batters. They got used to a certain speed, and now he's gonna speed up maybe five miles an hour. You might say five miles an hour ain't a lot, but when you're standing oh, in front man. of that pitch, five miles an hour, it, it, those are milliseconds that you just don't have to react now. Yeah, right? that's so it's gonna that, take it, maybe a whole other at bat to adjust to this guy's uh, speed. And oh, you can man. tell he he's a pitcher. He is long, he is lanky, yeah. long limbs. I was going to say these, that, though. These are the characteristics yeah. of hard-throwing pitchers. I was going to say that. you. Like he, got the, he got the height and the width as a pitcher, but let's see what happens here. If he knows oh. how to use his body, he's going to cause some serious damage in the league. For Luis sure, Torres sure. is now up. Strike! <laughs> and every ballpark, Luis. You can't look at those. You ain't getting I, that one back. I can't even see that. I, that. It was too fast. It was too fast for me. Nah, nah, he's just gonna get faster. He's warming up still. Oh man. Runners on the corner with just one out. That'll give the green light to Angel to go. Ooh. And foul towards the right field side. Count is now 0 and 2 for Luis. Man. Well, let's see what uh, this pitcher can do to limit the damage for Lopez Juan. As we've seen a lot of people just entering. The I fans. wonder if Carbone's gonna send Angel because he can risk being a strikeout, throwout. But if it's a strikeout and Adonis goes, and a throw is thrown, but Adonis scores before the second out, that run does score. But that wasn't the case. They usually do that, especially in, t in like last inning cases. So now we have runners in scoring position, second and third with two outs. For Allen Ferreiras, the right fielder for the Trojans. Ball is low. So I mean, they did that last year with Inwood. Another very close game to end the series, the end, to end the season. Where that one one away was one one was the third baseman away. Throughout the took the strikeout, but managed to not tag the one coming home. And GW took that game. I remember that game. So that was close game. You don't forget them. Yeah. Now is one and one for Allen. He's the right fielder for the Trojans. Too. See, I'm looking at this young man pitching, and I'm, I'm saying if he can use a little bit more of his legs, he, he man, his, his fastballs will just shoot up in velocity. Just, just watch where his front leg lands. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's, he's not going so far. I, I feel like if he could take a, just a slightly longer stride, you know, it'll give him more of an angle in his, his release. He'll probably... I mean, for the fact that he still joined Jerome lower, lower 90s at a high school level, that's pretty insane, I got to say. I don't know all their names, any, but supposedly, rumors in the streets is that this is the cat that... Oh, here's the runner. And Adonis will score no slide. Pitcher did not react fast enough to get there. Yeah, number two. And yeah. the pinch runner that was for Corbin Mendes will enter yeah. on a pass ball. So now we have a runner on third. Two outs for Allen. Who so now has. There's a full count, right? Run on this. 
Yeah. It could be 3-1. I think it's 3-1. Did he swing at that last one? He swung at a pitch. Eh. And it doesn't matter because <laughs> Allen <laughs> <laughs> earns the walk. It don't go. matter because <laughs> two Remember, strikes look, or use one the strike. Camera, use the monitor to first. determine your shots. That's what we had this for, so it'd be easier for you. Allen is fast, but with two outs, I wouldn't send them. I wouldn't send them with two outs. Oh, see, see, this is what I mean. Uh, two, 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 two. Oh. Ah. Took him out. Caught out. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. I don't know about this. He appeared to look safe to me. Me. That was. I didn't see where the tag was applied. We gotta go to YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. Let's see what happened here. Well, and th this is this is the bad habit that I see at this age. And it's not just George Washington. It's not Luperon. It's it's across the board. And I see it in softball too. For whatever reason, at this age, kids are not. They, they, they're not getting dirty. They're not getting dirty enough. They think everything is is up and up and up. What what should have been happening? He should have been sliding. Oh yeah, outside of the base and swiping with his right with his left hand. But it, it looks like that's something that doesn't get practiced too much. Yeah, I haven't seen it in any of the games from many of the teams. You know, any, every time there's a play at home, the kids are practically standing, running home, barely any slides, and that's a safety issue too. That's a safety issue. For sure. <laughs> these kids throw hard, and if you get hit in the wrong spot with that ball, that can knock you. That can for a while. I believe in MLB, you had to slide regardless. Not regardless. It, you you got to slide if it's no, a No, no, no. If the ball is close, if the ball is drawn, it's being drawn, don't you supposed to slide? You gotta, yeah, mean. you got sac to sacrifice your body. Yeah. Anyway, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back after the show break. Yeah, shout out to James here. And here's a runner. Ooh. And that will be the first down. That was too quick to count. L6, one pitch, one out for Alfred. That's uh, that's being economical there. Yeah. Already quick inning. Quick, uh, you know, quick first hit. Quick first out. One as we pitch, see. one out. And th this is when uh, coaches get frustrated when, when they see that. Because they're like, if you're going to swing at the first, at the first pitch, let it be big contact. You know, don't don't mm -hmm. don't do a first hit that's gonna be a little dribbler in the infield or a pop up. You're gonna swing at the first pitch. It better be a bomb. You know, essentially. For sure. It's gotta be a watermelon and it's gotta be yours. I mean, you gotta look at Evan Judge on that one. Like, take a a play uh, and a sample from his playbook. I mean, remember like that one, the first game, first hit was a bomb, right? Well, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. That was really good. Oh, oh and uh, to get hit by a pitch right there. <laughs> the umpire is getting some action. They hit the batter and the ump. Hit by a pitch. You say you hit me, so I'm gonna walk. Hold on, we know you better. If you hit me, I'm throwing you out. That's it. <laughs> Draw out the pitcher. <laughs> so now we gotta run out first. <laughs> I mean, it's not, not soccer, soccer, so. Two outs. I mean, one out, sorry. Run out first, one out. For number two. Oops, my apologies. We gotta update this. That appears to be a uh, 4 1. So we got 29 people watching this live stream. 
called high. I'm glad today live stream there was no issues. No internet oh, stable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No internet issue. Everything is straight up looking green to me in my li in my in my time. And his throw to first wasn't able to make the play right there. Athletes keeping the runner on first, saying, <laughs> "I don't want anybody in scoring position." <laughs> Especially when you away from third. Especially you have a comfortable league, you know, you don't want to give it up that much. And it's a wide pitch. With a count of uh, three and zero, oh, ain't no chance this guy's swinging. So after he's gonna throw a pitch right down the pipe, and he's gonna hold off. Unless it's a watermelon, like you say. Uh, I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even swing out a watermelon right now. After nah. he has thrown three straight. Balls. I'm gonna force him to throw me a strike. That's I'm a good idea. Uh, and and the, the automatic. Yeah. We got Peluche over here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could commentate in Spanish too. Uh, sometimes. It's a and big pop up to his left field side, but will be out of play. Bouncing on the track. Special one when he does that. Count is full. Yeah. Okay, you don't want to. The count is full. I apologize. You know, I got to double check, make sure everything is good. <laughs> Man, what Take a break from. Take a break from photography and help me with one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, she got the VIP seat. She got the VIP seat. She doesn't do nothing. Brian <laughs> first was thinking about. Nah, he kept it home. He kept it home. Taking a bag, but I think he's keeping an eye on him, keeping him close. With three and two, the runner up first is tempted to go. And is sung, singing that song that we so love. I don't know how to do it again. Arron, habichuela y carne. Now he can sit down and enjoy his plate. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I don't got it right now. I don't even got it either. Oh, my God. This game I'm going to try it again. Intense. We need more water. Pitches, pitches low, yeah. I need water. <laughs> we need water. There, there you go. go. I got I it. I like that. I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Had to lick my lips there. Mm. I got to do the same. Here's a draw again. I, I think he's checking on the runner. Close enough. Down on the dirt. So Lupe One is looking to get some ones in here on the top of the fourth. Especially, you know, there's a man on first. And the pitcher made aware. He looks like he was about mm. to bunt there. He presented bunt. I mean, with two outs, you're not, you're not actually going to bunt. He did that to bring down the zone. He, he got a little bit over presented by and said, I, I, want you to, I, I want you to throw here. <laughs> well, fortunately, you know. And ah, come back over. Sweat. It ain't your time yet. Oh. Not quite yet, number five. Not quite yet. But that, that's what you got to do. You know, when, when, when you have uh, three and oh on the pitch, you just go to see. You got to play the mental game with the umps. For sure, for sure. But now you can is low, go, and now, now you've earned your base. There you go. Get that free ticket to first base. And now, now you can go. Boleto gratis. <laughs> <laughs> now we got two outs runners on first and second for the third baseman of Luperon. Again, this young man is, is a horse. This kid has been just showing off that glove, his arms, since Friday. That, this kid is God. Oh man, I can't believe I, can I missed it. I can it, see yeah. this cat going D1 easily. Pitches on the dirt and 
is considered still in play. Ah, and that is Luperon's own fault. <laughs> the ball is considered in play, so the runners will only take one base instead of two. That is considered a steal now. He won't get two bases because Luperon's equipment was in the way. <laughs> the equipment wasn't there, and it would have rolled into the, into the track. Yeah. Um, it would have been two bases, but Luperon did <laughs> themselves a... Uh, Wrong there by by being on the field. That's still considered in play. Oh, now they moved the equipment out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had an extra run, but there you go. But you know, it is what it is. You, you live and you learn. There you go. That's that's the moral of life right there. And I believe that's a ball one. Pitch is high. It'll Big swing. pop up to left field. Should be routine. He sits. Oh, oh he, he dropped the ball. Yo. Bring in a run. And. And with two outs, what should have been what should have been uh, inning ending routine fly ball no. to left field. And now Lupa One is one one behind GW. E seven. Wow, and if George Washington loses this game, it's gonna be because of, it's gonna be because of that run. I agree, man. I mean, luckily we didn't catch it for GW. Say we didn't catch that on stream. <laughs> man, my grandmother could have caught that ball. What happened there? I don't know. That ball was up there for half. I could tie my shoes and caught that ball. I know, right? That was a little. Like I say, maybe they need some coffee out there in the field. Man. Games like these, the team that makes the least errors is the team that wins. You can't, you can't afford errors against a first and second place team. You definitely can't pull that, that stun off in the playoff. Oh, you definitely Because once you get to the higher levels, yeah. that's the difference between uh, uh, you moving on and you being and you, you packing up and going home until next year. And that's something that GW definitely is going to have to. got to fix that. Yeah, they're going to have to reflect on that one. I don't think Kabon was happy about that either. Ah, nobody's happy about that. Ain't nobody happy about that. Yeah, but I do gotta say, good base running by the Luperon runners because with two outs, you just keep on running no matter what. Yeah. And that's how you saw the run on first score on that. I mean, you're not slowing down. It's two outs. You're just gonna go. Oh, and these Luperon, <laughs> these Luperon uh, batters, go a little early, earlier than they're supposed to. Number three returns to the plate. <laughs> now's, your, now's your time, buddy. As he take a 3-1 pitch. And That's the souvenir for tap. To tap. And that ball just standing on the roof. That ball is going to be crispy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's rolling down. There we go. Oh, maybe not. They're going to be there for a while. It's hanging. Black roof. Sun beaming on it. Yeah. Believe count, sh count should be full. The runner goes. Ball is pulled. That was super fast. Right back to top. <laughs> Yo, Tap is catching balls a lot now. And this is one I believe. Struggle. Athlete should have been out of the inning already. Athlete should have been there resting, and psychologically, he's thinking, I got to get the last out. Hey, that's right. Last time that there should have been an out. Man, he walked. Grab your ticket to first. Didn't get the out. And now, Athlete is really struggling right now. But it's, it's frustration. It's frustration because the inning should have been done. Not only is the inning not over, 
The run is cut down to just one. One. You know, the lead is cut down to one. He had a beautiful three-run cushion at the start of the inning. He got the two outs quick. But because of an error. Because of an error. A big error, in fact. The lead is now cut down to one. His, his game is, is on the line now, right? Yeah. So a little bit of frustration, a little bit of pressure, knowing that this game can pretty much settle when they get home field advantage. It could be getting to them. You're right about that. As we right now seeing 36 viewers hanging out on YouTube with us to watch the game. Appreciate you guys here. And uh, quick shout out to anyone from the community who would like to sponsor any of our teams. Doesn't have to be GW. Gotta be GW. Gotta be GW. <laughs> All right. We'll be more than happy to. We to definitely will love that. And yeah. promote your business during our commercial break. Remember, we got two, three, four hundred people viewing these games at times, and that's excellent opportunity for you to promote your business. All you have to do is support our young athletes. It could be any of the teams, for any of the teams. But we'd love to have you be part of the Trojan family. We would love you. In return, we'll. Promote your business. We'll yeah. create a commercial. High school community communication. Uh oh, does an excellent job. Uh oh, and, and he's out of here. Big home run for Luperon, who just broke it open this inning. Big home run by big number twenty by Luperon, and you see Luperon celebrating big time here. RBI home run. And all the fans out here is cheering them on. There is more Lumpy Wall fans out here than GW. That is it's crazy. Pa fuera. Pa donde? Pa fuera se, se fue esa bola. That ball was long, and like I said. That right field porch is a lot shorter here than it should be. <laughs> so that, that ball traveled right center and it's just the right distance and for left-handed batter. That <laughs> cleaned the bases, two outs, no one on base. And now call to the bullpen will bring in the relief pitcher, young wow. man who has been finishing games here at home. Michael lights out Peña for the Trojans. Gregorio Luperon now has taken the lead. The score is eight to six, and it is the Trojans' job to come back from this two-run deficit. Wow. <laughs> Uh, they have a lot to celebrate, that's for sure, local ball fans. We will be right back after this short message. back this time with Mike Michael Peña Michael lights out Peña who has been a gem on the mound for the Trojan closing off a lot of these home games throws a first pitch that got fouled off by number 23 and like we were saying during the break this is all because of that error in left field the error in left field scored in two runs and that was a momentum switch. Yeah, that's right. A turning point in this game for Luperon. 
that brought so much energy to these Luperon batters. Slow chopper back to the pitcher, and that should end the inning. Like you said, this should have ended the inning a while ago, maybe about 30 minutes ago. I may be uh, going over the acting of here. But that ever caused not one, not two, but how many ones this inning? Not three, but it's four five. Runs. Five. <laughs> the four? I the think five. it was five. Let me see. Let me count. Five. One. Here we go. <laughs> it's five ones, man. One, two, three, four, five runs to start the fourth inning. And momentum switch because of the error. That gave Luperon a little bit more life in the batter's box, followed by a walk. And then a towering home run over right center field fence. For sure, for sure. But don't broke it open this inning with five runs. And now let's say what GW got to answer, could say about this. They're going to have to answer back, you know, being securing not just the 2-1 that they lost, but to try to get the momentum to be back on the league. they definitely capable to do it. They're capable. they definitely and capable to do it. The conversation now in the bench is defense, defense, defense. Don't let them score anymore. And let's give ourselves a chance to not only tie it, but take the lead. Remember, to win the ball game, all you need is one run. That's right. And they've been yeah, proving. Chip away, chip away every inning moving forward and hold them off. Produce zeros on the board against the middle. Carbone has to be steaming at this moment. What well, should have been a 6-3 game entering the bottom of the fourth is now an 8-6 deficit for the George Washington Trojan. All right, we see Miss uh, Miss Russo outside supporting the boys baseball team. Yeah, shout out to all the staff members, all the students coming in here to support the boys. Shout out to both fans out here making noise as he takes the first pitch strike. Yandri is back up because in the last inning, uh, that rundown happened while he was at bat. And shout out to Channel 7, IBC, uh, ABC News on top. Which means he re-inherits this at bat. Big swing and a miss. So second time Yendri gets to see this pitcher today. I guess technically the same man. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Close one. And the catcher thought that was a strikeout. He got up ready to celebrate, but. <laughs> Again, now your time, buddy. Umpire, umpire says, that, that, was, that was a little in. Let's, let's Calm settle down. down a bit. Settle down. That's it. Calm down. We get there. See the first baseman still celebrating that home run. He's <laughs> swinging. Uh, and look at this. The viewer count up to 47. All right, we're getting up there. We're getting up there, indeed. The you know, question, she. The question is, maybe we should reach out to the local uh, sports shops, uniform shop, see if anybody wants to pr uh, sponsor the boys' baseball team. Ball was fouled off the the shoe. I think that was supposed to be an out. But Carbone is saying that he hit and it bounced in foul territory first. Maybe hitting his shoe. We see Yendri not moving out because Yendri is saying it hit my foot. By but the umpire struggle. says that it landed not on the foot but in front of the plate and that will be the first out of the inning. Awkward out, but first out of the inning. Brian Miller had a big home run yesterday, and he's uh. They would definitely get a camera there. We could definitely replay back and see. For sure. Brian, huge home run yesterday, and uh. Yesterday, meaning Friday, meaning by the Friday. way. Sorry, I keep <laughs> on saying yesterday. Last it is yesterday to Friday. us, man. Yesterday work day. How about that? Exactly, the yesterday <laughs> work day. <laughs> I didn't see that. I think I, think I marked it wrong. I think it's 2-0. I think it's 2-0. Oh. 
I'm, that's why I'm looking at yours to see if it's right. But here we are. Ooh, three. That should be three. New ball. Now let's see if Brian gets the green light to swing here with three balls and no strikes. That was a little low. It should have been 4-4. Oh, maybe it was one strike. Maybe now. it was one strike. Yeah, you're right. And now, okay, I was right. Three and one. Yeah, I was looking at you. <laughs> and I was looking at you. <laughs> like, oh, well. That's why we, we, that's why we had teamwork here. <laughs> we <laughs> both <laughs> failed. <laughs> <laughs> now that's and a now, <laughs> don't matter what the count is, it's a walk. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have a runner on first. Uh, I don't think there's going to be much ceiling happening anymore. That. Uh, with that pitcher, catcher, I don't know, man. With, 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 a, with a faster pitching pitcher and uh, and a catcher with his, his throwing arm, his pop time is incredible. I mean, we'll it's even happens. harder to steal base now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be sending anybody. Ball is low. The catcher tried framing that on Raul Mella. Oh, here's a walk. Lines. And error at first will advance the runner. And I've noticed there has been a Switch. Did they score another one? Yeah. Give it to. Him. Oh. So did it. That was the fielder's choice. So how many? So that's a one right there. No. Oh, okay. It was a fielder's choice. Oh, yeah, we got yeah, the yeah, out yeah, at yeah, second, yeah, and now yeah. we got runners. On second off of an error on the throw. You're right, you're right, you're right. Got to double check myself a bit. The throw down to first was a little low. The first baseman couldn't Whoa. hold on to it. And once again, another fantastic play by the third baseman. Hot shot down third base. For a 5-3 inning ending play. Ramon Jimenez, Ramon Big Baby Jimenez has been pulling the ball since Friday down the third base line, but what he hasn't noticed is that he's meeting up with a wall, a really big wall. It doesn't let nothing pass them. So against a lot of other teams, those hard hits third will go past those third basemen, but against his Luperon number 13, yeah. Web jam after web jam. Hard hits, he's just scooping them up smoothly and throwing down across the diamond for routine plays. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. So we are back, ladies and gentlemen, to start things up at the top of the fifth. As strike one is being called. Oh, my bad. 
We're gonna tight, very, very tight both here. Number 24 has one strike. Big hit towards left field, moving back. Nice and pass. Excellent play. Hit a switch. To hold on to a big hit down the left field line. Excellent play by Yendri Peralta. Yeah, excellent play wanting to try to catch the ball. L7. And Mike really needed that one. Remember, last play over at left field also uh, could have ended the inning, but a big error there. This time around, an excellent Oh, right down the middle. Now another hit over the second base for a single for number 12. Luperon now has a run on first with just one out. Number one is up to bat. As we got the number one hitter getting ready to uh, take this mount here with one out, one one on first. The runner goes, throw down. Oh. They struck him out. Oh, and that the umpire says he is off the bag. <laughs> he probably the slid. Said that he is off the bag. He slid with all oh, off the bag. The tag is applied and like I said, I think there was a defensive switch. Number 13, who is number 13? Let's look it up. Is now in for Raul. We definitely caught that on camera for sure. Good job to the cameraman. That was a solid play. So you two can definitely debate on that one, whether that's a safe or not. It looks to be that he kind of slid off the back, the bag. Well, I called it the bean, but you know. Can you tell is that Raul at second, or did they just switch his uniform? I don't see number 24. I mean, it's probably hard to see on this angle. Excellent play by Corbin and Raul to get that second out. Now, I ain't going to say nothing, but <laughs> <laughs> you, you look like he was on the base. <laughs> I mean, that's what I said. We could debate on that one. Round to the shortstop for a 6-3 ending. Play. As you're gonna bring us to the bottom of the fifth, where the Trojans will try to recover some runs and shorten this deficit. I definitely don't want to see that one right here, real quick. Let's drop it back. And then look at the fans here. Fan cam, ladies and gentlemen. But they're not looking like they're interested. To the right, to the left. Where are we gonna end up? We find out for sure. Let's see.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here in the bottom of the fifth. Back up, Marcus Peguero takes a hack at the first pitch. Now the count of for strike one. Seeing the crowds growing here now at GW's. Uh, oh started yeah. off with just a, a handful. And Friday we had a decent, decent crowd. And today it's almost doubled in numbers. Almost doubles in numbers, huh? Yeah, I guess it's it's a good weather, you know. I mean, that's right. I mean, was it Friday? Was a good Ooh. weather? Oh, we got hit by a pitch. Marcus gets hit by that pitch. You know what? Well, we got ice for that, Marcus. Yeah, that could be a painful experience, but you know, you walk it off. You're a big boy. <laughs> Corbin Mendez, who just did an excellent play to throw out the runner, overslid the base. Of But again, you guys uh, have YouTube. We could go back and see. If you guys be the. the you guys could be the debate. You guys uh, figure that out. The call is already made. Ain't turning that one back. Oh, cool. Ooh. Oh, wow. Double Man, that hit. That one went off the helmet of Corbin, and that's two in a row. Usually two in a row, you get an ejection. And this is what the Empire was doing. Maybe. What's going yeah, on? When you, when you boys, that, that one is marked up by Corbin's helmet. Ooh. So we see Adonis back on, on first. The designated runner. Head runner for the catcher. Now with no outs, runners on first and second. We have speed on the base. Pat, and no outs. This is the opportunity that the children have to take advantage of. Yep. If they want to change the momentum of this game, this is it. No outs. We have a run in the scoring position. We got to get in at least one run this inning to stay in this game. And Angel La Maravilla Gomez takes the first pitch strike. Pitch yeah. down the middle. Adonis returns to first. Pitch is low. Getting some of these clubs, he's moving his glove a little too much. Swing and a miss for strike two. Uh, turns us off. One and two is the count for Angel Gomez. Pitch is low. Oh. Throw down to second. What a what a bracelote that this this young man got. Jeez. Man, that oh, that throw though. That man, I, that that push mark is back to second. Yeah. You don't expect a, a, a throw down to second. Yo, yeah. focus on second because I have it on here. Marcus didn't expect it. He didn't expect to have to second, yeah. push back and dive. But thankfully, struck him out. Thankfully, he was within diving distance there. Now up, we got the designated hitter, number 17, Luis. Luis Torres. Because look, Jarvis. Pitcher and pitcher. No. Oh, wow. Luis fouls that one straight back to the portal body. Ooh. Oh, my God. It did hit somebody's car. It did hit somebody's car. But look, you see how a pitcher, a pitcher moves. Yeah. Yeah, so. Camera two, point to the 
take advantage of this opportunity. Mm, big, big swing and a miss. That, <laughs> that swing took Luis off the batter's box. Yeah. Luis down to his final strike. Pitches on the dirt, runner should advance, and there will be no throw down. by the catcher, got past the catcher, got stuck in the fence. The count is even two and two, runners in scoring position now. This could be the moment that Luis has been waiting for. With one swing of the bat, the, t the game can be tied. A line drive into the outfield will bring in at least one, potentially two runs. A big moment. Chop into third base. Good. Chop it to the shortstop, sorry. And that will be 6-3 for the second out. I mean, talk about a defensive awareness from Le Peron. Yeah. These kids are excellent defensively. We see the shortstop leaning as he returns to his position. Strike is called on Alan Ferreiras. And on any sort of contact, the runners will go and do their best to score. Alan is down to one strike left. The count is 0-2. Bone will be telling his runner on the sound of the bat, you are going and you are turning because the defensive play is going to be at first. So the runner on second, bad man, and it's not going to be a blue. Oh, game. yeah, and man. that will score in two runs against pass the second base for the shortstop. And, and they continue to follow this, <laughs> and Allen will make it all the way to third on a blue. Wow, and an error, and that's. And There's the rule of baseball. What's the rule of baseball? Rule of baseball. What's the rule? Tell me. Let's see it, if you pay attention. If there's errors, there will, there will be ones. After the error is the run. And now we have a tight ball game, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? I'm going to put that as a triple. I'm going to say that that was <laughs> a triple. <laughs> I'm being very generous right now. But, ladies and gentlemen, new ball game, 0-0. Zero, zero. If we're running on third, Ooh. A pass ball, you can see Carbone telling Allen, take a big lead. A pass ball, you're taking home. Yandri that been has a... one ball on him. Run on third. This is, I told you, this is the inning where if you optimize, fouled back, the momentum switches of the game. If this run comes in right now, the Trojans will win this game. That's right. I'm calling it. If this run enters momentum switch, Trojans win this game. It's just the psychology of baseball. We're running out of innings. Definitely. We got more pressure on the pitchers to get strikeouts. That pitcher is frustrated because he thought that ball was hanging in the air for quite some time. Nobody actually made a firm decision on who's going to get that. Yeah, Nobody man. called anybody out. And that's a problem. And strike on Yendri. Count is one and two. And once again, two outs. Run on third. I think the pitcher don't want to risk drawing to third because well, of a possible the ever. The wasn't even holding up the, the, the run. That, that's why Yendri's taking such a big lead. Third base isn't there. Oh, hey, the... And look what oh, happened. Past the catcher, that will score in the run. And Trojans have taken the lead. And Yendi makes it to first on a drop, third pitch strike. Oh, so, <laughs> once again, ever scores. After the error comes the run, right? The catcher can hold on to the ball, and that run advances. Remember, with two outs. You're telling your runner out there, take a big lead because any error, you're going you're gonna to move on. That's right, that's good right. Good base running and a good heads up by Yendri. 
to run down to first on the swing and a miss. Now we have Brian Miller who hit a, a towering home run on Friday. Not yesterday, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday work day. Yesterday, the yesterday work day, <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian Miller <laughs> hit a home run down center field. And he's saying, this is my time. Let me give my team more of a lead. Yendri will go. Yendri will get there safely. Gets past the shortstop, past the second baseman. Yendri is now 90 feet from scoring. <laughs> now, that's how you take an at bat where you strike out and make it productive. And from a strikeout, he makes it to first, still second. First time that we see all day an overthrow by the catcher. I'm telling you, the baseball gods are in our side. Oh, momentum man. switch. What is ah. that? Momentum switch. <laughs> momentum switch indeed. Right? I told you, Yo, if this the commentating, the if, commentating if, blessing if, is. If Trojans did not take advantage of this opportunity, the game was over for the Trojans. Then, then I said, if they score, the momentum of the game will change. And this is what's happening. Momentum switch. Luperon is now feeling the pressure. They're feeling the catcher has been perfect all game. Is feeling like I got to get mm. the out. The That's right. feeling, I got to get the out because it should have been an out. Ended up, ended up out. exactly. And we've seen that so far throughout this entire game. Like, Absolutely. We've seen that a lot for the past two innings for sure. And now we take a, now it's a one-on-one -on -one count for the batter here. Brian's. Hey, Elizabeth Payetta, wow. welcome to the live. Swing and a miss, but it gets past the catcher, and that will bring in. The 10th Trojan run, giving now Michael Pena a two-run cushion to close out this game. The score is now 10-8, George Washington. So it is unfortunate that a lot of these ever was committed by the catcher this inning. I mean, also consider how many runs were saved by the catcher. That's true. He but got two runners caught stealing. Uh, two I got one, I got two, I got three, matter of fact. Actually, we have three caught people. We stay number two because we lost that last that game. That catcher has saved. Yeah. Remember. Luperon was undefeated until Friday where they <laughs> where they got their first L against the Trojans. That's right. And they're coming in here today That's right, yeah. trying to say essentially that was a flu. We're going to take this one back. And right now, oh, oh, what's that? Uh-oh. The Luperon coach uh -oh. making some type of uh, complaint. Uh-oh. We saw this these tricks on Friday. <laughs> I mean, listen, this is like novella right now. So where's the popcorns, man? Oh, where's, the the where's the dramatic music? Where's the... <laughs> zoom in, zoom in on, on the coach. <laughs> I mean, we got to talk to the cameraman to zoom in on that coach, but too late right now. So, one of the staff members here say, where's the school located? And that will be ball four for Brian, who earns his walk. A free ticket to first base, my guy. Free ticket to first, bringing up... Raul Pena. We see Raul had a jersey change this time around. Normally wears number 24. Now he's wearing number 13. Now that guy you That's what confused me earlier. He oh. always was on the lineup card that says 24. I think he must have with his shirt or something. But they switched his shirt. Number 13. That is Raul. Okay. Raul made a ground rule double on Friday also. Nice, beautiful line drive towards center field. Brian's on first with two outs. Raul's up to bat with a strike on him. Good throw down to first, but not on time. Brian dives back to first. Called safe. But I don't came here trying to get back a, a win after losing against <laughs> George Washington, and it's not necessarily going their way yet. Not quite. Keeps throwing down. Usually when you keep throwing down, it's, it's to get somebody ready. But I don't see no action in the bullpen for, for Luperon. No, they keep it looks like this young man is supposed to finish the game. I don't see any more arms. They can't, definitely can't put in the pitcher from Friday. He hasn't had enough days rest. 
That pitcher completed the game. Pitch on in the dirt. In a pitch. In a pitch, yeah. Cal is even at 11. Uh, so let, let's see what's the latest on YouTube. 40, we're keeping 40. Not too bad. I think the higher was 50 something. I got it over Swing and a miss by Raul. He's a walking fan right now. I can feel the breeze up here. It's I nice felt and breezy. it. Yeah. Big fan there. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, the weather's getting nice. Come out and support the Trojan varsity team and the uh, Lady Trojans. Ooh. Round ball swing, pass ball again. Third pass ball on the on the catcher. And that will bring Brian over to second and Raul will get to first on a pass ball strike three, drop ball. And this is a Been dangerous batter coming up. And oh. I'm so sorry to cut you off right there. Big, big bat. But Big Baby has been Pulling it down third base towards that solid wall over there for the past two games. Baby needs to make some type of adjustments to get the wall, get that ball away from that third baseman. And Baby can get that ball a little later. When he pulls, that means he, he's on that ball a little early. Wait a split second further. I think they switched the picture for Lopez. Oh, and there, there's a call to the bullpen, number two. We'll come in in relief to close the game. So it seems like this pitcher didn't get any warm up in the uh, bullpen, or whatever bullpen we have here. So he won't That's be because he's a position player. Been playing on the field, so ah, he's gonna get gotcha. time to warm up. He's warming up now. So fortunately, the the relief pitcher wasn't able to uh, complete the game. Uh, GW took a commanding, uh, like three five runs on their own, right? If I'm not mistaken. And one, two, three, four runs this inning. That's right. Responding to the five runs that Luperome in the fourth. Slightly delayed response, but a response nonetheless. And we are back here. Ramon Big Baby Jimenez, which is a powerful bat for the Trojan, is coming up the bat. Runners on first and second. Big baby with one swing of the back can bring in three runs. Everything that comes out of that back comes out hard. And you see that the infielders have moved back for him. Third baseman is oh, playing deep, in yeah. the outfield grass. Shortstop is playing back. And they're saying that their play is actually the easiest base. It doesn't matter. With runners on first and second and two outs. Whatever base is easiest is the one that they're going to throw down to. Strike one on Big Baby, Ramon Jimenez. Mm, Big swing and a miss. Runners will attempt to steal. Third baseman can't hold on to the ball, and that is a stolen base. A double steal for Brian and Raul. The dynamic duel, Batman and Robin in short and second are now at third and second. These two combined make some of the, the nicest double plays in, in PSAL. I'll tell you that much. So when they pull off the double plays, they look so clean. They look pro style. Big hit, pass the short time, and that will bring in two runs, giving the Trojans oh. a 12 to 8 lead. Two RBIs for Big Baby. And what did I say? After the error comes the runs. Right. Errors by the catcher. 
led those runners to first. Two in a row. And now with one swing of the bat, Big Baby has broke this game open again. Nice hard hit past the shortstop into the outfield. Brought in Brian Melo and Raul El Gallo Mella. Oh, man. That was incredible now, right there. Marcus is back up to bat. Second time for this inning. Last time this same inning, he got hit by a pitch. He started off this inning with an HBP. Hit by pitch. He's trying to keep this inning alive. And this is another long inning with two outs. Pitches on the dirt. And I feel like maybe the catcher starts to feel it. Well, I mean, the mental part of the game. I mean, yeah, I feel I could, I could sense that for sure. I think everyone in general, definitely the catcher. Takes a huge toll on catchers, I'll tell you that much. You know, and a lot of this run was scored because there's some cases where the catcher couldn't hold on to the ball, unfortunately. So wow. this game is going down pretty much on Eva's count between the both teams. Which is unusually not the case when it comes to the top two teams. Usually not. Maybe they're still feeling it from Friday's game. Intense. No, these guys are young. They're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to find. I'm trying to find ways. To and here's a shot. by Marcus down center field, but should be a routine play. The so second out of the third out of the inning will be uh, F8. So now we are transitioning to the top of the sixth inning. GW managed to score five or six, right? And now, let's see what Lopo can do to try to come back this uh, deficit of a 4-1 lead. So we'll be right back after this message. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Fun one. All right, ladies, we are back here to start things off. First pitch is a strike down the pipe. Mike, who starts off the inning, that shit with a strike and follows it up with <laughs> a pitch in the dirt. That pitch to the, bird, uh, to the dirt kind of went like all over the place. It went to the dugout and came back. Tally is one and one for number two. And quad strike right on the letters. Michael is ahead in the count, feeling comfortable up there. Mm -hmm. One and two. Let's see what he offers. Oh, he tried off. He he tries to pull off a, a big breaking pitch. Try to drop a twelve six in there, but it just stood. It just stood up. And a big pop up towards the first base side, but will be s too far out of play. Count remains two and two. That's right. On the Luperon batter. 
So you see, Michael, Michael doesn't have as much speed as some of the starters, but he has more movement than some of the starters. He has more breaking pitches. So he can keep the batters off balance with the different breaks that his pitches have. Are we looking to get a new uh, third camera here soon? Awesome. Another pitch. Back. Construction. Hard hats. Oh, everybody was oh. dodging for that ball over there. They got no hard hats on. No, those guys didn't. <laughs> nah, they didn't have it. That was on their nudge break over there. Yeah, I see them. Yeah. No. And line to the shortstop for the first out of the inning. That was super fast. Yeah. We just Our baseball team is amazing. Of course, GW is amazing. Everybody's uh, out here. The Loperon fans are out here today. The Loperon fans. We see, we see a lot of elves. <laughs> and that's exactly <laughs> what <laughs> they're trying to take. That's a strike. I see a lot of elves on people's heads, and uh, that's exactly what they're trying to take out. And they're looking like they're taking it here, too. And here's a draw. <laughs> Let's see if. Oh! That was actually a fair ball. <laughs> the, uh, the two guys on the second base were like, oh, "Are you tagging me? That was a that was a automatic run." Yeah, I know, bro. Just uh, just hanging there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna apply the tag. Always, always. <laughs> That's that that that's gotta be like like drinking water automatic. But <laughs> you know, I think a pinch runner for number five. That's right. So I know that you know a couple of fans. There's a couple of people that knew each other from both teams. So now the third baseman is now up. Bob. Oh, and Michael is calling a walk. Oof. Can't do that. Just putting him um, 90 feet from home. One now runner on third. A 1-1 one, one count for the third baseman. I think they sell the hats at, at their school or something. I see a lot of kids with the. I think they do too. But I don't know what's up. What happened to the W hats over here? I don't think I don't think they sell them here. They just give them to players and some staff members. And here's a rocket. Oh, that bounced it. That'll bring in one run. Angel played it safe on that one. Good play. About three inches from being caught. Good awareness. So without, without the backup right behind them, Angel was not going to take the risk of, of diving for that ball. That was, that was a smart play. Knowing that there's a lead, you want to win. So Charlie Gonzalez says that Carbone do sell the W hats, but I don't really see it appetized. I could have bought one for myself. This should be like a website, like that Carbone, like like a pop up store a website. That would be nice. Yeah, like like uh, one of the uh, one the tier just said. Number three disagreed on that one, but it was a huge breaking pitch. Nice pitch by Michael Pena. 
So yeah, you know, he sells things, but you know, he's not very widely advertised. Another breaking pitch, fouled oh. back, and Mike was really juicing out that. Wow, so you know, Fer 12 6 curveball. Fergie got lucky, there's a net there. That's the batting case for the boys. Yes, sir. And girls. Cool. And swing and a miss. That's an out. That is an out. No need to throw down because first base was occupied, but. That is an out. That is a strikeout. The runner cannot advance to first because first base was occupied, but. The run on first will be credited with a stolen base. So two outs for Michael. And now up to bat, the lefty. Mm -hmm. Number 20. Dun, 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 Hey, let's see if we can do it again. <laughs> and again, this is a very generous ballpark for lefties, especially big lefties that can, that can pull the ball. Whoa. Big Not looking like. Towards third base and just gets out of the glove of Marcus. Four. Great effort oh, number 20. Oh, whoa. by Marcus Figueroa to chase that one down, but it was right before hitting the track. Marcus knows he can't step onto the track. That ball, that would be out of play regardless. So he was trying his best to stay on the green and reach over to grab that ball. So excellent effort. Uh, but still, that is a strike on number 20. Oh, that changed the uh, breaking pitch. <laughs> that breaking pitch is the first. off guard, too. Not gonna lie. Oh, oh, fast pitch. By that fastball down and in. Not so that cow is now two balls, one strike. Runner goes. And strike is called. Count is two and two. Mike. Just one run. Mm. And swing and a miss. I don't Mike think he meant to swing that, but he swung it anyway. Swung <laughs> he offered and then he regretted it. That's Two right. strikeouts in a row for Michael Pena to get out of this inning, but not before letting one run score off of an error in the left. As we turn. Now, Luperon is going to be down to their final three outs. So, G Dubs, anything that they score here is just extra cushion. That's right. And we will be right back after this message.
feeling, man. And we're back. <laughs> this time, Corbin Mendez is up to back. And a ground ball to the shortstop should be routine. And the out is called. 6-3 for the first out. Luperon is down to their final three outs. Trojans will have a three-run cushion entering the seventh inning. That's right. So Trojans will just be focusing on getting three outs and can afford up to two runs and still win the game. Ball is in the dirt for Angel Gomez. Count is 1-0. This is when Luperon will be feeling the pressure. That's right. To get the outs and to produce, you might see them being a little bit more antsy because they know time is running. And what they say, time is money. And in this case, you know, you're running out of times. Uh, time this is money. <laughs> Big pop up into the infield. And shortstop pauses. Focus on the play. For on the pop up. The second out. That's five to two. And we see that there was a change in the field. The third baseman is now at short. Kebery Castillo. This is the bottom of the sixth inning. It should be, uh, you see it on the top right hand corner. And excellent defensive play by number 13. Looks like he can play all the positions in the interview. Third, he's got lockdown. Short, he's got lockdown. 6 3, 1 2 3 inning. And now we now are here. Three outs. Three outs. Three outs Oh, it was dramatic for the beginning. Well, I'll tell you what, don't sleep on Luperon. Oh, no, definitely not. Nah. This, game, this game could go a whole nine if they really have. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. We're going to take a quick break, ladies and gentlemen. So, the top of the seven, three GWs, three outs away from winning the second game from Luperon. We'll see what happens then. back here top of the seven three outs away can GW find a way to secure them without any pressure without any errors as they take a first pitch on the strike here we go what a rocket Ooh, what a man talk about a heavy hit right there just outside the line Close enough to be fair. Unfortunately, it didn't work out in his favor right there. As a switching ball. Should be routine. 
se sienta, se toma el café y es out. Two outs away. damage as they can with two outs in the top of the seventh. If they don't score at least three now, the game ends and the Trojans will take two out of two against Luperon. Giving Luperon their only two losses against the almighty and powerful Trojans. The all and mighty once undefeated Luperon. We can't say that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Luperon, just like it, it shows on their hats, they took the L. <laughs> hey, swing and a miss. Oh, man. Very aggressive, too. Not a good idea. Not a really good uh, attitude. Is that what you were saying? Oh. But the play is made by Brian Mello. Excellent play. Six, three. Good backup by Brian to do their pass to diving, Marcus. And Luperon is down to their final out. Wow, what a change of events, man. Last out of the game. <laughs> With the effects, playing some clean there, we will rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Carbone is saying right now. We will rock. Yeah, I mean, those, they, they, they're definitely rocking him for sure. I mean, I can't really blame them, you know. Oh, he struck him. Uh. That is the game, ladies and gentlemen. The Trojans win. The oh, Trojans win. Sweeping. Yeah. The Gario Luperon. Two yeah. <laughs> they heard me on your mic. The Trojans win. <laughs> Yo, this, this guy Mike was muted all this time. <laughs> That's right, you guys are muted. I hope so. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do it again. The Trojans win. I gotta see what's the, if there's any more games after this. So let me let, let's check. Let's take a look at the PSA of records real quick. Let's take a look. Let's see. What well, that brings us up to what? Thirteen and two. Thirteen and three. Thirteen and three. That should bring us up to thirteen and three. So let's see if we have any more games. Oh, this is the last oh, game. This is the last game of the regular season, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's right. So now, I... Pa donde? Pa fuera. Pa donde? Pa fuera. Luperon? Pa fuera. <laughs> but nevertheless, you know, the count is now 13 and 2, 13 and 13 and 3. So George Washington played a game but they play more, more game by one, so I'm not too sure how this is gonna affect. 
Because we got one game ahead. We got one good more, one more game ahead. I don't know how this is gonna affect it, but all I know is that it pushes us up in the rankings when it comes to playoffs, and it should be good enough to guarantee us home field advantage. That's right. But nevertheless, GGs for both teams. Shout out to the Liverpool One fans out here. They making a big statement here. Uh, GW definitely got a lot of, uh, at least their fan base got a lot to work on. That's right. Great team, great defense, great pitching. They will make it far, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see them late in the playoffs. So we will find out this weekend. They're going to figure out the playoffs once we get that schedule in. Whatever home games we have, we're definitely going to bring that live to you, without a doubt. You already know. Ring so. that bell, subscribe, and follow, share with all your friends. There you go. The real question is, Who's going to be the first sponsor for the, for the Trojans? Yeah, there's... With local business, will it, will it, will it be the Bodeguita? <laughs> will it be Popeye? <laughs> <laughs> will it be Dunkin' Donuts? You'll be Popeye's, man. You never know, man. Never know. I mean, never... Peligro. <laughs> Peligro Sports. A lot of people right. always buy their gloves and equipment from there. Who knows? Yeah. Who's going to be the first to sponsor the Trojans and get their commercials played here? Especially media and communication YouTube habitat. channel. There you go. So yeah, definitely like Charlie, everybody else who's watching, know the business that want to advertise and give us some, you know, sponsorship for the for the for the boys here. To let them know. You know, once we hit the a thousand subscriber which is around the corner, this is when we start you know, we get we start getting paid. And all that money that we generate will be going, you know, for the boys and girls of of the program here. So that's pretty exciting, ladies and gentlemen. What a game! Oh man, but not between Mr. Lopez. So this game, I know this is definitely had it went down with a lot of error that I did not expect, especially on the top two teams. Errors came in late in the game, and it came in the form of drop, strike three by the catcher. That catcher was 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 calling an excellent game, had excellent plays all all game. But near the end, you can see that fatigue started playing a role. And he started missing some of those catches. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, this see a lot of family members coming in with their kids. A lot of uncles, aunts, moms, dads, abuelas, abuelos, brothers, sisters, cousins. And everybody else who's probably watching who couldn't make it but watching on YouTube to support their family uh you know their family members and siblings as well like uh, definitely uh, they were going to be having a lot of fans from the dominican republic and definitely we'll check out the analytics on that one and update you guys where we at and remember share these links when we when we are live streaming put them on your social media you never know who's looking maybe there's a coach somewhere that spots this the more that we share the more exposure we give these kids and the higher the, the possibility of them getting scouted and getting a scholarship to play somewhere. So That's right. Share anytime that we are live streaming these games just to give these young men an opportunity to play at the next <laughs> level. The more they're exposed, the better the chances are of having a better college opportunity. That's right. Because, you know, not everywhere, you know, we have the opportunity to live stream baseball games. And, you know, this is one of the very few schools that does it. And it would be good, not just for like GW, but everybody else, you know, that played against them will have some highlights that they can, you know, to use for their resume or so. That's right. So many players that were watching from some of the other teams share, you never know when they're watching you. Yeah, you never know because last year the t there was a coach that was watching um, YouTube, was watching these games, especially the one in Inwood. So you never know.
Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be closing now. My my name is Raymond Martinez. I'm right here with Nesto uh, Lopez. Cameraman will be Christopher Jarvis. That we all thank you for hanging uh, hanging out with us on this live stream, on this tremendous baseball game that we have. Any last word, fellas? Great game, great game, great commentators, great parents, great fans, great staff, great music man. Everything's good. Oh yeah, I gotta give a shout out to Mr. Gabriel. He's also the member of our live streaming team. He's providing the music for today's game. So. Uh, <laughs> I think it's time for me to make it. All right, make the call. Make the call. All right, all right, Coach Carbo says, God bless America and God bless the Trojans. See you guys on the next one. Deuces.